In recent years, India's regional approach has shown significant shortcomings, failing to achieve its intended outcomes. The rise of anti-India sentiments in neighboring countries like the Maldives, Nepal, and now Bangladesh highlights the growing dissatisfaction with India's dominance in the region. The victory of Maldivian President Mohamed Muizu, driven by an India Out campaign, and Nepal's backlash over a controversial mural in the Indian parliament are clear indicators of this sentiment. However, the situation in Bangladesh is perhaps the most telling. For 15 years, Sheikh Hasina, a close ally of India, ruled Bangladesh. Her relationship with New Delhi was pivotal, but it came at a cost. Hasina's grip on power, often supported by India, became increasingly unpopular among the Bangladeshi people. The events of August 5 in Dhaka, where student protesters ousted Hasina after weeks of unrest, marked a significant shift in the region. Hasina's desperate orders led to the tragic loss of 450 lives, forcing her to flee to India as protesters stormed her residence. This was a major setback for India, which had relied on Hasina to maintain its influence in Bangladesh. Despite her declining popularity, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi continued to back her, hoping to use Bangladesh as a strategic ally. But with Hasina's ouster, India's influence in the region is waning. The people of Bangladesh have made it clear that they reject India's interference in their affairs. Now, India is scrambling to find someone to blame, pointing fingers at the US, China, and even Pakistan. Indian analysts speculate that external forces may have played a role in Hasina's downfall, but the truth may take decades to emerge. Regardless, India must recognize that its own policies have led to this situation. By supporting an unpopular regime, New Delhi alienated the Bangladeshi people. With the loss of a pro-India leader in Bangladesh, India's options in the region are limited. The new government in Dhaka is unlikely to be as accommodating, and India's regional influence is at risk. Relations with other neighboring countries, including Nepal, the Maldives, and Myanmar, are also strained. India's ambitions as a regional hegemon have backfired. The neighborhood first policy that once promised peaceful coexistence now seems hollow. If India is to regain its standing in the region, it must abandon its attempts to dominate its neighbors and focus on building cooperative, stable, and equal relationships with all South Asian states. Subscribe to Kasim Koso YouTube channel for more updates. Thanks for watching.